About two weeks ago, I made a video about AstroPad and some of the updates they've made. And every time I talk about AstroPad, uh, I'm asked by one or two people in the comments about another app called Duet Display. Now, on the surface, both of these apps look very similar to each other. They both connect to your computer and become an extra screen. You can use your finger or the pencil with the iPad to control your computer, but they're actually both very different. AstroPad is designed from the ground up to be used specifically for drawing and illustration. Duet Display, however, is designed specifically to be an extra monitor. And the features both of these apps have developed over the years are designed specifically to support these use cases. It's like a steak knife versus a butter knife. To the layman, these probably both look like the same knife. But go ahead, try to cut your meat with that. Go ahead, I'll wait. Duet Display's updates are centered around things like updated resolutions or refresh rate. AstroPad's updates are centered around things like image crispness or speed. Since this is the first time I'm talking about Duet Display on video, it's probably a good idea for me to do just a little overview on what the app is and what it does and how it works. You launch the app on your Mac or PC, and then you open it up on your iPad and connect it via a USB cable. And voila, you have a second screen. You can use any iPhone or iPad that is running iOS 7 as that second screen. It's really designed to be an on-the-go screen. If you have your laptop, you could throw your iPad in the bag, uh, connect it via your USB cable when you're on the road or at somebody's office, and you have that second monitor right there for you. I used it just like that quite a bit at the beginning of this year when I was working on site with a client for a while. You can use the pencil, or really probably any stylus I would imagine, as an input device to control your laptop, just like AstroPad, but it doesn't have things like pressure detection on the Apple stylus. So really using the Apple Pencil and Duet Display isn't all that different than using your finger. Maybe you get a little bit more control. Okay, so the only difference between AstroPad and Duet Display is pressure sensitivity in the pencil. Right? No. Back at the beginning of my video, I talked about software design and how software starts with a use case, a user. The use case for AstroPad is that it wants to be a drawing tablet. The use case for Duet Display is that it wants to be a second monitor. And the design decisions that these apps have been making are designed around those users' core behaviors. So AstroPad focuses on super crispness and on rendering your art so that it looks awesome. But what trade-off they made to do that is that there is some momentary pixelation while the image redraws. Duet Display is a monitor. It doesn't want any of that pixelation because you're going to be playing videos on it. You're going to be moving windows around on it. It doesn't want to think about rendering, so it's not as crisp, but you get a much better refresh rate. And crispness isn't as important in a monitor, which is a little bit further away from you than a drawing tablet that you're hovering right over. Duet Display doesn't have a Wi-Fi option, but again, that doesn't matter with a monitor because you're not moving the monitor around too much once it's set up. AstroPad, on the other hand, has a Wi-Fi option, and of course, that's a really nice feature because on a drawing tablet, you're moving it around, maybe changing the angles so you can draw a little bit better. Not having wires in the way makes that kind of handy. Plus the extra features that they've added into the app. AstroPad includes things like on-screen customizable buttons that are defaulted to some of the common drawing tools that you're used to. Plus features like the ability to set up your workspace size on the screen, being able to zoom in if you want to do detail work like me. I just want these fine controls over some of my vectors sometimes. This is Software Design 101. Support your core users. Neither app is better than the other. Neither app is doing anything specifically wrong. In fact, I think they're doing everything pretty much right. They're just designed for different tasks. So if you're looking at both of these apps and saying, which one should I draw with? There's really no contest. You should go with AstroPad. That's what it's designed for. So the reason I've reviewed AstroPad and haven't paid a ton of attention to Duet Display is because that if you're looking for drawing or illustration help on your iPad, there's really no contest. One's designed for that. So that's why I've talked about AstroPad several times, but never really mentioned Duet Display. Have a comment or question? There's a comment box below. So like, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you in a week or two.